Hi Libra, welcome to your weekly reading for May 27th through June 2nd. I'm going to be taking a look at your immediate past, present, future, pulling some advice for you as well as the outcome. This is general. It may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel as it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. And at the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in show me Libra for May 27th through June 2nd we're having some stuck energy here let's see what's going on oh some very interesting energy too coming out let's see what's going on wow i see new love in your life okay or a new abundance and it started in the immediate past with this ace of cups so a new abundance new romantic person in your life here with that ace of cups um then moving into your current situation we have the chariot that comes out things are happening really fast but it's like you know where this is taking you i feel like that new love is really taking off fast because in the immediate future we have the nine of cups where it's like things couldn't be any better than this here's the thing though with this king of swords coming out which is very much your energy um your advice is telling you to pay attention to the fact that sometimes you put a little too much thought on things and you know make yourself busy uh, make sure that you are paying attention to relationships around you because in your outcome here if somebody else is not feeling that you're giving them the love that they deserve but you're enjoying the love that they're giving to you they're going to end up walking away and maybe not actually walking away but energetically they might let go because they don't want to get hurt but let's see what's going on here in your situation Situation. We're going to go ahead and clarify, starting with this Ace of Cups in your immediate past. I like the energies. They're beautiful, but your advice is saying, hey, try and do the right thing, okay? Stick to doing the right thing because if you don't and you don't balance relationships and what you have going on, whether it's your work life, your personal life, and you don't take into account the people who care about you, it's going to make them feel a little left out. So let's go ahead clarify that ace of cups wow ace of cups is clarified by um the page of wands the four of wands the judgment card and the ten of wands at the bottom of the deck so this new romance you know this new abundance here very curious about it going after what you want here like i wonder where it's going to take me and it led to a celebration of you know um excitement a relationship you know and the judgment card really having this eye-opening experience. But there's also this 10 of wands at the bottom of the deck that is telling me that, you know, this person that shows up here, very curious about you, talking to you, seeing where things go, and wanting to create something with you, is feeling like they're carrying a heavy weight. They're they want the responsibility, but they just don't want all of the responsibility. If it's a relationship, they want it to be 50-50 at least. Um, so let's go ahead and clarify this chariot for your current situation. Okay, so the chariot is clarified by the chariot. The page of pentacles the moon and the ace of wands at the bottom of the deck things happening really fast here needing to make a decision on where your journey is taking you and learning patiently like i'm, I'm ready for this i want to see where things go and it's like you are being this student to learn that you have to trust in the unknown sometimes the ace of wands is at the bottom of the deck so you're bringing some really good energy to you it seems like things are happening really fast there's new desires passionate and endeavors here and just wanting to um 
you know, should I, should I chase after music? Should I chase after art? Do I want this? Do I want that? There's so many amazing ideas that come out here of what you're wanting to do, but trusting in the unknown, um, moving into, because you trust into the trust in the unknown with that moon card there, moving into the immediate future, we do have the nine of cups. There's a lot of love here. This is definitely you. Um, that's why your advice is telling you this. Okay, so in the immediate future, when things start feeling like, oh my gosh, this is amazing, couldn't get any better, I'm really enjoying how I'm getting all this love. Um, the King of Swords, the Emperor, and the Tower come out as clarification to that nine of cups as well as the six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so even though you're feeling all this love the fact that you make yourself busy here or put too much logical on you know love rather than feeling with your heart it creates certain boundaries that definitely are shaking this tower here it's kind of making it fall because if you're not being equally giving in the emotional aspect of this situation this person is feeling the lack of they're like how come you can't give me emotion well you know libras sometimes are not like that but i will tell you libras can be very romantic as well they really can um but libras can also be a very thought provoked um so it's like they will think first <laughs> And then you tell, and they still feel, I mean, you're human just like anybody else, Libra, but yes, some people, it just takes a very uh, special kind of person to understand you. Um, let's go ahead and clarify that King of Swords for your advice. Very interesting. Okay, so the King of Swords is clarified by the Star, the Five of Pentacles, as well as the King of Cups, which came out in a 50-50 energy. The Two of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. So even though you're hopeful about this situation, because of the way you're processing by thought here, that hope is is more based off of what your mind is telling you rather than what you're feeling. And that is creating this isolation of feeling the emotion of love or, or expressing it. Uh, the King of Cups coming out in a 50-50 energy is saying that this person is going to feel that, you know, your love is coming off a little manipulative and you have to find a balance between, you know, also like going through a grieving of some sorts, healing some things of loss in order to feel that love and maybe that's where you are really in your thoughts about I don't have time to give love like this I think I am doing the best I can but someone is saying hey you know this king of cups coming out in a 50 50 energy pay attention to that because um this isolation of feeling like you're you think you're giving enough love emotionally someone doesn't feel that and so there has to be a balance to this um, let's go ahead and clarify this Eight of Cups for your outcome. If you don't open up and show this person the love that you want to give, uh, feel with your heart don't think so much with your mind on what it is you feel for this person. If you don't show that to them, they're going to walk away and they will end up finding somebody else um, by dating, things like that. And you have a sense of knowing this will happen and it's all because of they are feeling rejected. So we have the two of cups, three of cups, and the high priestess. There's another thing that comes out here, Libra, because this eight of cups is looking at that king of swords here. And so looking at where you are and your thoughts, leaving that behind and opening up and feeling the emotion here instead of thinking 
all the time, like this is how I should do this, that, or the other, is going to lead you to um, having a true connection with this person and missing them, wanting them. You two both have an amazing connection, but you have to put your thoughts out of the way and really feel with your heart, you know, use your emotions here. It can be hard. I get that some of you have been rejected in the past, which makes you like, ah, eh, like I want to, but what if I get it wrong? That's where you start overthinking. So don't overthink the situation. And if you really like this person, don't let them leave in that way, you know, recognize their need for um, a tender, tender touch that they need, you know, from you. Uh, let's go ahead and get an oracle message. Let's get two for you. So the first one that comes out is rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present. It's very important to do so. so that way you can enjoy, you know, all this beautiful energy that does come out A narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. Mm hmm. That's, you know, tread thoughtfully, you know, don't overthink situations. Don't use only your thought process here. Act upon your emotions. If you feel something for someone, let them know. Uh, crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing anything from the past, and anything holding you back. So that way you can create this beautiful, um, relationship with this person that you are enjoying in the immediate future, but they're feeling a sense of lack of, and they just want that from you. All right. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.